Mr. Johnson, this house is the best investment for your family. The location is unbeatable. It's in one of the safest neighborhoods in the state. Great schools, churches nearby. It has spacious room, a modern kitchen, and a very beautiful backyard. It's perfect for relaxing. Just picture you and Madame having a romantic dinner. Looking at the stars, she's gonna love you again. This house is a gold mine for the price of Indomie and egg. Alex, you have finished me already. Let's meet in two hours. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hello, Alex. Are you there? Hello, Alex. Thank Are you. you. Hello? I'm here, sorry. I'll bring the papers to you in two hours. Yes, who's it? Hey Alex, I brought you dinner fries, roasted turkey, beans, boiled egg, and peppered snow. I am the angel God sent to deliver you from hunger today. Wow, Sasha, what are you doing here? Hunger must be killing you, and I know you haven't had lunch, so I thought it wise for both of us to have lunch together. Are you going to keep me standing here? Sure, come on. Thank you. What shall I offer you? I have juice, mm. tea, water. Water is fine. With all this plenty food you brought for me, you, you deserve some juice. <laughs> so why did you even ask? I'm asking you for the bag. Hello, sir. Hello, Sasha. Why is Mr. Jacob calling to tell me he never got the flowers from his under room? I dropped those flowers on my decks, but I got hungry and I went out to get something to eat. That was why I forgot to send it. But I clearly told you to send it to him and make sure he got it before Thursday morning. Today is Monday, for Christ's sake. Do you realize what you've just done? Ah, sir, why are you shouting? I told you that I was hungry and I needed to get something to eat. Would you have preferred I died of hunger? Yeah, I don't understand all of this, so. <laughs> Look at how you're speaking to me, your boss. No wonder I have been getting so many complaints from my clients about this show. Bad mouth. You don't know who your mate is, and you just run your mouth anyhow. Instead of you to apologize. Apologize? Apologize for eating? <laughs> Sir, I don't mind all those your stupid clients, too. They all want to sleep with me. That's why they are talking rubbish. Because I'm a beautiful woman. Ah, Sasha, don't ever let me see my office again. You're fired. Let me see who will marry you. This is your trash attitude. Ah, sir, I said I'm sorry now. I love my job. It won't happen again. I love my job. You're great, sir. <laughs> no, don't fire me, sir, please. <laughs> He fired me. <laughs> what happened? Why would he do that? He said there were some problems with the files. And I tried to apologize, but he said he doesn't want to see me again. I'm sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> what is even wrong with me? What is happening in my life? I am almost 30. And I don't even have a man in my life. I have no parents. And now I am jobless. <laughs> Oh no, 
Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. This is just the devil trying to tempt you. Nobody cares about me. The people keep talking bad about me. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. Don't worry, you find it in your detail. Yes. And Satan didn't say anything. He didn't say yes or no. He left the presence of the Lord. Now listen to verse 16. Interesting. He said, while he yet spoke, that is, while one of the servants was speaking, I tried to take out some verse because of time. Now they are bringing reports, evil started happening. Evil started happening. Evil started happening to Job properties. Job assets. giving you good fruit in the dream. Now, let's take for example, um, you have a dream with, about a guy uh, you are caught in or you are dating and then you see him in the dream always bring fruit for you. What kind of fruit? Good fruit, not sour fruit. Good fruit like apple, for example, mangoes and orange, berry, think of any beautiful fruit. And then the person brings those fruit for you in the dream. Now, when you receive dream of your 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 person, you know, you know what I mean by that? Somebody that you are caught in or somebody you are together with giving you fruits in the dream, then God is giving you go ahead. something to me. Why am I seeing her in my dreams? She's so beautiful. I don't want to be led into temptation. Huh? Could this be a sign you want me to find her? What could this mean? Why does this woman have the power to invade my dreams? And I don't even know her name. How will I ever find her? Father oh, the Lord, I ask for your wisdom. To you understand your word that you're trying to pass across to me in my dreams. Father, please give me the understanding of whatever it is you're trying to communicate to me. In Jesus' mighty name. Hey, Nora. Did you meet up with Mr. Alex? The real estate agent I recommended. I was at his office the other day, but his secretary told me that he just left the office few minutes before I came in, so I could not meet up with him. That is too bad. Try and get in touch with him again. Because he has the best properties, and I think the best-selling author in Nigeria deserve only the best real estate agent for her mansion. I mean, do you realize what you've done? You've sold out over a million copies of your book in two months. That is absolutely miraculous. As a publishing company, we've never experienced this before. You know, I still can't believe it. It can only be God, honestly. Anyways, I'll reach Mr. Alex's office to arrange for a meeting with him. Because I really want to surprise my parents with a house at the end of the year. That is nice. Well, if you need any help at all, I got you anytime. I'm already anxiously waiting for your second book draft. Take care of yourself, okay? Thank you. I'll send you something by next week. Thanks for your help. Since we turn around, everything will be alright. If only you know. Since we turn around, everything will be alright if only you know your dreams. Knowing what your dream is is vital for your safety. Knowing what your ah. 
Sasha, what are you doing here? Hey, Alex. I came to visit a friend in the neighborhood, and I thought you'd wise to check on you. See how you're doing. It seems you were going out. Are you on your way out? I have a client I'm supposed to meet. She mm. provided the place at Valley Estate. Oh, really? She? I think I better go with you before she steals you away. Who is this client? Is she married? Does she have children? How old is she? And how did you guys even meet? Uh-uh, madam. How can you ask 20 questions in one minute? Which one am I supposed to answer? The client is a famous author of children's book. We've not met, but I've read some things about her online. That's all I know. Oh, really? Yeah. But for some reason, I'm curious to meet with her. Mm. We've only spoken a couple of times on the phone. What's that face for? Do you like her? You can't like her. Not while I am here. How can I like someone I've never met? Mm. Wait, why are you even here? I could have shown her the house all by myself. What sort of question is that? I came here to help you. Besides, I'm jobless and I figured since it was a female client, maybe I can help you charm her with my woman charm. Am I wrong for wanting to be there for you? You didn't have to come with me. I've been doing this way long after you and all my friends left me when I first started out this business. God saw me through to where I am today, and I'm confident this house is perfect for her. Don't bring that up now. I made a mistake leaving you when you needed me back in school, but that won't happen again. Alex, don't you think we can live in a beautiful house like this? Dine in a fancy restaurant, fly to Paris, and shop till we drop. Alex. Alex, what is the matter? Alex. Alex, what is the matter? Who do you think you are showing up to my house unannounced twice in a week? And why would we live in a house when we are not together? You think I'm the one that will take you to Paris? I'm just trying to understand what's going on in that head of yours. What happened to all the guys you were seeing back then? They were not ambitious enough. Alex, look at you. You've achieved so much between then and now. Why those guys are there busy wasting their life? How could I possibly end up with any of them? Oh. Alex, you are rich. I am beautiful. And I am fully endowed. Don't you think it's time for us to be together? Are those the only requirement for two people to get married? This is the problem with you ladies of nowadays. You spend so much time taking care of your look, but fail to develop your character. Look at you. You believe the only criteria for you to get and keep in mind is with your body. You want to get married. Are you ready to be a wife, Sasha? Do you have what it takes to submit? Or you just want to be blowing my money in Paris? Oh, shut up about that nonsense. I know your type. You men of now, they simply pretend like you don't know when the woman is interested in you. You simply shut your mouth and enjoy the benefit of wife. While keep us as friends. Your own is to be doing holy holy. Besides, you were not speaking this rubbish when you were busy eating my jello fries, turkey and snail. But now that I've asked if we could be together, you have simply become a specialist in woman education. Oh, please, spare me that. What is a wife if she cannot spend your money? Who are you keeping it for, eh? If this is how you're raising, no wonder you're still single. Do you know how many guys are dying to be with me? I have everything a man would ever want. Just because I want you doesn't mean that I can't get anyone better than you. But I choose you. I want you, Alex. Look at yourself. You live and talk anyhow. You never take God seriously. You're indisciplined. No respect for yourself. So much so that you throw yourself cheaply at me. You're unintelligent. Sad and broken. Why would a guy like me need someone like you to be making unnecessary and useless demands? You think you need a house? Where were you when I lost my first house to fire? It's women like you that will first leave me the moment I have nothing. So why would a guy like me need someone like you? So what do you men want? What do you want? What do you want if what I have is not enough for you? Sasha, the simple things of life have become so hard to find. I want a woman who is respectful, a woman who loves me, a woman who knows when I'm down and cheers me up. A woman who can be by my side when I need her to be. But clearly you're not that woman. Right now, I want you to leave. Oh, yes, she come. Now behave yourself and stop saying nonsense.
Alex. Alex. Oh God, I think your found my missing needs. What happens next? Alex is falling in love with Nora. But will Sasha let him go so easy? Find out next in episode two.